Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Mean Gorilla Senior Year. So we are on episode 7. It's already started because there was an advert and then the recording messed up, but here we are. And uh yeah, we're here. Oh, when she's angry, she is keen and shrewd. She was a vixen when she went to school. And thou shalt be but little, she is fierce. And though, what? <laughs> I messed that up. Well done, Miss Sims. That was inspired. Inspired by Regina. Bell rings. Remember, the Elizabethan Art Exhibition opens the last Saturday next month. I'll need a three page critical review the following Monday, so be sure to get your tickets. But Miss Young, Yang, that's the weekend. And. Uh, some people have a social life. We all have social lives. Well, okay, technically not really. Playing backgammon with your mum doesn't count. Miss Yang, I am drowning in presidential duties. Um, let's uh, diss Regina. You would make it a week at Yale. A week? It's as far as I need to make it. I could flunk out for all I care. As long as I'm articulate, I still get my inheritance, so suck on that. Miss George. Okay. What if I cut your workload in half? Would that help you out? So much. Perfect. You'll be working in pairs. Ugh, fine. I get Bernice. <laughs> you know my name? No, 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 no. I'll be pairing you up. I know it's a month out, but please don't wait till the last minute to get your tickets. And for those of you taking the SATs this weekend, good luck. Now, get out of my classroom. We're totally going to be paired up with Regina, aren't we? Totally. I mean, wedding pool shallow? Why would Mika even say something like that? He's just trying to push your buttons. Well, it's working. I don't get it. One minute he's nice, next minute he's a jerk, he's nice, he's a... Mika is too obnoxious as Sophie is too... so over it. Sorry, I know we're supposed to be studying for the SATs. Whatever, I hate the vocab portion. And why doesn't he ever mention his girlfriend? Why don't you ask him? I can't do that. Asking would be the same thing as telling him I'm into him. And if he does have a girlfriend, it'd be humiliating. And furthermore... No, I mean, why don't you just ask him? He's literally right there. Mm, I was going to say, I see no one. Hey, Mika. I was just heading to the restroom. Hi, girl, Katie. Hello, you here solo? Just picking up takeout from my family. So am I actually witnessing Sophie not studying? Sorry to shatter your fantasy, but that's actually what we were doing. Pizza field study, study sesh. I like your style. What do you order? Uh, veggie delight. So I can pretend pizza is a vegetable. It, is, it isn't. So thanks for the text last night. I also felt bad. I didn't mean to insult you by calling theater just a hobby. You're really good. Thanks. And I know I can't, I know I can come off a little unfiltered sometimes. Tell me about it. But so can you. <laughs> you bring out the best in me. I like to think so. By the way, you're reading in class today. It was really good. Oh, come on. I mean it. You should audition for my play. Your play? Yeah, I'm writing and directing. Oh, of course you are. What's that about? <laughs> it's, a, it's a treatise against intimacy. Um, Keep it civil. That sounds really interesting, but I need to focus on things that will help me get to, into Yale. If you want to get to, if you want to get Yale's attention, this play would look great on your resume. I think my resume is in pretty good shape, thanks. Lots of clubs, as you're aware. Yeah, but you do the same ten clubs as every other overachiever, and Yale will skip right over you. That's actually a fair point. I make those every once in a while. Um, I'll think about it. Ask him if he has a girlfriend. Can I ask you a question? And I don't want you to read into this the wrong way. Okay, sure. Do you um, have a girlfriend? What? No, why would you think that? Regina told me you did. She was pretty adamant about it. 
Yeah, I definitely do not have a girlfriend. So, he has been flirting with me. And I most definitely don't want one. Oh. <laughs> Bergman. Order up for Bergman. That's me. Think about the play, yeah? I'll see you Monday. How did it go? I, uh, uh, I need to not be distracted by him. Gotcha. What do you say we move on to math? A little pie and a pie? It's a real shame the SETs don't have a pun section. Okay. Oh. What's happening? You feel prepared for tomorrow? I'm amped. Katie doesn't mess around with quadra quadratic equations. That's what I'd like to hear. You know, now that the SETs are practically over, I'm thinking about doing this play. What do you mean? Like, for my resume, it'd look really good. I don't know, Sophie, prancing around on a stage was cute when you were a kid, but I'd be, I'm proud you decided to use your intelligence for something worthwhile. But it could also, you plan, your plan isn't to pursue theater, honey. There are dozens of activities far better suited to your goals. She needs to shut the hell up. I guess so. Plus, that sort of thing kind of brings out your dark side, do you remember? Who is she? Like, yes, yeah, she's the mum, but come on, it's her life. And she could do what she wants to do. If she wants to do theatre, she can do theatre. Let her do what she wants. It's a play, mum, not a pageant. I just don't want anything to throw, you, throw us off course. Go get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow morning's really important. We're doing the play now, I'm adamant. Between the election chaos, Regina, my mum and Mika, I cannot fall asleep. After hours of tossing and turning, I had just driven off when... Bow wow wow blah blah blah. Who is blasting music right outside my window? Um... Mum? What's going on? What in the... Why are there 300 people in our backyard? Crashed game. <laughs> All right. This game is so annoying with freaking crashes though. Like what the hell? It does my head in. <laughs> I wonder how long is left of this episode though. I think we are going to be doing uh, two episodes um, apart now. So yeah, I just, I'll get this done quicker and we could do another story. So what in the, we've seen this. What in the? What in the? Okay. Are these your friends? They're people from school. Well, some of them. I'm calling the police. Why are they in our garden though? <coughs> wow, that was loud. By the time the cops showed up and got things sorted, it was nearly two in the morning. You realize you were trespassing. I just came for the flash mob. Flash mob? Yeah, it seemed totally legit. They gave an address. There was a picture of the house. They announced it on Karen Uncensored. I'd bet anything Regina's behind this. I can handle it from here, ladies. Thank you, officer. Let's go already. Oh my god, Damien? Sophie? Give me a minute, Mum. I need some fresh air. Suit yourself. I said clear the premises. You kids got bright futures. Don't make me arrest you. I'm trying to get them to leave, but they're like connected at the gums. That's okay, they're my friends. Please don't arrest them. Fine, I trust you can make it, take it from here. Hey girl, what are you doing here? Don't you have the SATs tomorrow? You should be sleeping. I was sleeping until a flash mob appeared under my bedroom window. Hold up, this is your house? Explains the PJs. What's up Sophie? You're telling me Regina just messed with your sleep cycle on SAT Eve? This is war. This is delicious. I mean, this is an outrage. And I know just the way we can give Regina a taste of her own medicine. Oh yeah, I know exactly what you're thinking. Let's do it. What do you say, Sophie? Um, pass, because we're not buying with real money. Thanks, Damien. But I don't think I have the energy for that tonight. I need all the sleep I can get. Good luck, Sophie. Break a leg. I'll call you guys tomorrow. Good night. Thanks for having us over. Okay, the next morning, SATD day.
Oh my god, the crashing in this game is unbelievable. Um, so actually, when I done it, um, how I record my app gameplay, uh, some of you were saying that it isn't actually my software that's doing it, it's the actual game. So that's kind of relieving, I guess. I just want to know how long's left of this episode. We might only be doing one at <laughs> this rate, because we're like 10 minutes in. Wowza. Because I am going for lunch to a Chinese takeaway. Chinese takeaway? Chinese buffet, I should say. Okay. Next morning, SAT day. Oh, look at our outfit. Whoa, you look like you've been up all night. Grr. Take your seats, girls. The test is about to begin. I can barely keep my eyes open, but Regina's plowing through the test like a machine. Done. What? Is she on something? How do you think you did? Miserably, I was running on zero sleep. I'm sure you're miserably is still top um team percentile. But you should have seen Regina, she was so fast it was inhumane. She was like some kind of test taking cyborg. Remember what I said? I know, I know, Regina drama is too addictive as... Well, no time to rest, this bloody, <laughs> this blood drives on Monday. I, can be I can't believe you orchestrated the whole thing. If all goes as planned, I can still outshine Regina on the volunteer front. But come Monday, please don't freeze. You're naked. Thanks for setting this up. <laughs> totally like crashed again. Oh my days. Oh my days. Okay. Sophie, thanks for setting this all up. By the way, Regina here has volunteered to help too. The more the merrier. Anyone can volunteer, but collecting the most pints. That's how you really stand out. I'd like to set a record today. Love the enthusiasm. You can manage station one over there with me. Okay. Uh, you're like really cute for a nurse. <laughs> I'm a flubblum technician, whatever. Sophie, how about you take station two? Alan, there has you covered. Yo. All right, good luck. But just so you know, I plan on winning. It's a blood drive, not a race. Okay. In the saddle, Gretchen, I need you to strangle the stress ball. But we're going for speed here. Just send him over. I'll plug him and do the rest. Okay. New station open over here. I'm seeing stars. So close your eyes. Next. How's it going? Two pints already. You should see how fast Alan hooks them in. I got velvet touch. What? Ugh, oh, Gretchen, you and your tiny veins. Who is talking? Regina, it's not a competition, isn't it? Uh, no. The, pint, the point is to help people. And I just want to help more of them. Fine. Hey guys, line shorter over here if you want to switch. Or come here, this line will get you in and out way faster. Which is great if you value speed over sanitation. I can't speak to the other line, but clean needles and this one guaranteed. Damn girl. What, too far? Move it people, let's keep this going. And today I'm covering the North Shore High School Annual Bloods Karen, either give me your blood or get out of the way. Whoa, you're Karen from Karen Uncensored? Hey, I didn't say you could stop. I subscribe to your show, I'm obsessed. Yay, ooh, it'd be so cool to interview a doctor about the blood drive. Doctor? He's not even a nurse. I can play doctor. Let's find a place that's not noisy, so yeah. She's so unhappy. No, you guys, get back here. He's just uh, blah, something. Uh. Guys, the machine is still taking my blood. Hi, Sophie. It was so nice how you were there for me after my breakup with Dane. Of course. So I just wanted to donate to, donate to your line too. As a token of my thanks. Well, that's really thoughtful of you, Gretchen. But didn't you already donate? It's fine. People do it all the time. I don't know. I think maybe it's not a good idea. I insist. All right, then. But can we be quick? I don't want Regina to see. 
got it. She's totally gonna die. <laughs> Where'd Regina go anyway? Nurse, where are you? He's with me. You two need to wrap up this interview right now. Yep, coming. Okay. What is going on here? This is so awkward. <sighs> oh my god, game. Can we please? Can we please? Hey there, do gooder. Hey there, play pusher. You really want to donate? I realise I drained the life out of you, so I thought you could return the favour. That's nice of you, Mika. You're on deck. You excited about the Elizabeth coming up? <laughs> Messed that one up, didn't I? I am, actually. Cool, because I asked Miss Yang to partner us. You what? Are you angry? No, I'm just uh, surprised. And freaking giddy. Reel it in, Sims. I figure if we have to work in pairs, I want my partner to be the smartest person in class. Uh, thank him. That's pretty flattering. Uh, not meant to be. It's just fact. I'll choose to be flattered anyway. Count me in. Awesome. Next. Batter up. Okay. I feel like I'm floating. I feel, I feel like I... Do you want to sit? Oh. Alan! Oh, my chin. I'm bleeding. I don't have any more blood to spare. Ouch, that's gonna scar for sure. Scar? Did you say scar? Thanks to you, we have to make up for lost time. Everybody, anyone who donates to this line gets to touch Karen's boobs. I'm done with that. What? <laughs> Serious? <gasps> oh my God. One at a time, gentlemen. I can handle two. Hey Toot, is she okay? Running this blood drive was supposed to be the crown jewel of my resume. But now, I can't exactly brag about second most pints collected. My Yale dream is hanging by a thread. Here's what we'll do. Everybody, anyone who donates to this line gets to touch Sophie's- Nope. Fine, but you're going- <laughs> You're at war with G Regina George. If you want to win, you'll have to upgrade your arsenal. Or at least start up your fight. How? You're smart, you'll figure something out. With the application deadline coming up, I better. Okay, so that is that one. I think we're just, we're not gonna bother um, doing episode eight just yet. We'll just do that in the next part because um, yeah, we're kinda, this one's a bit longer than I thought it was going to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will speak to you all soon. Bye everyone.